Hello, um, my name is Lauren Brochauer. A lot of you probably know me. I am going to show you how to use the vinyl cutter today because why not? Um, these are usually located in the library on the table out there. Um, we've relocated for video filming purposes. So, first thing about the, uh, the vinyl cutter is that you need this particular software on your computer. It's called Silhouette Studio and you can get it online. You just Google Silhouette Studio and download um, the latest software that they have. It's um, pretty simple. Um, you don't have to buy it or anything. And uh, let me show you a new sheet. This is what it should look like. You have a blank page. It should The, the scaling should be about uh, 8.5 by 11. And you have a whole bunch of tools over here. You can design in this software, but a lot of people just like to import JPEGs or things they've made in Illustrator and, um, and just cut those out. So I'm going to actually open something from um, the library that I created on public for you guys. Um, it's got a bunch of JPEGs of just different silhouettes. Um, it's under library. Let's see. Library Vinyl Cut Designs 2014. We're going to go into Halloween because why not? And we want to look at All Black Cat. And it's just a JPEG. And I'm just going to import it. And there it is. It's tiny. If I zoom in and enlarge it, it's, it this software is very, very simple to, to look or to, to use. Um, so there's my cat. And uh, it's kind of pixelated, but that's all right. The first thing I want to do is trace it. So there's this little yellow and blue button here at the top. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, your tracing. When you use a JPEG, you want to use something that is going to have a pretty clear outline. You can't do anything super uh, complicated because the vinyl cutter will cut any line um, that is outlined here. I'll show you what that looks like. So if you have things with intersecting lines, the lines will cut through and you'll have a messy um, thing. So this yellow outline is what the vinyl cutter will cut. You can actually play with the filters. There's a high pass and a low pass. Try to get your uh, photo or whatever you're using to have uh, sharp outside lines and just by playing with the thresholds. So that looks all right. If I play with this, maybe, no, it's okay for the whole thing to be yellow, but oh, that looks good. Okay, so you, oh, sorry, I forgot. You had to select your trace area, and I just made a box around what I was trying to um, cut, and then played with the filters until the whole thing inside was yellow, because uh, I'm going to do something that's called trace outer edge right here. So if I click on that, and I move my photo, you can see the outer edge of what the vinyl cutter will cut. Um, I can delete my photo or whatever, get out of the way. If I zoom out, so, and then you can even resize this after if you figure out, oh, it's too big or it's too small or whatever, and you can move it around. So wherever you move it, wherever you leave it, that is where the vinyl cutter will cut it on your sheet of paper. So maybe if you have a sheet of paper that's got, um, some holes in it or whatever, you can avoid those just by placing it correctly. Um, Alright, so I kind of have it where I want it. I'm going to turn my cutter on. And oh my god, this thing makes hilarious noises. Is it a stepper motor? I think so. Sounds like it. So I have um, my sheet. This is actually sticky paper. And there's different settings for the cutter if you're going to use uh, like normal um, craft paper or whatever. Um, maybe I should make a sheet or something about that, but this is normal sticky paper. You load your media, if you, Subash, can you see this? Mm -hmm. So, you just um, put your paper, or whatever you're cutting, into these rollers, and you press enter, and it sucks it in, and it just gets your piece ready. Um, okay, so, I mean, honestly, this thing is almost ready to go. I gotta plug in my computer to the Silhouette Studio, and it's doing its thing. If I go into um, 
this little squirt bottle looking, it's cut settings, it, I guess that's a cutter, I don't really know. It gives you a lot of options, but you can just go into commonly used like materials and select what you're working on and I'll give you suggestions for cutting. I'm going all the way to the bottom because I'm using sticky paper. Yeah, it says white sticky paper, but whatever. This is blue, it doesn't matter. Um, and then the, the speed, you should probably slow it down. The slower you go, the less likely the cutter is to like kick up what it's cutting. With sticky paper, it's a pretty low uh, chance, but still. I guess we'll go with five. And then thickness, I don't know, we'll try like six. Because we only want it to cut through the first layer of the sticky paper. Okay, so that's kind of it. I guess if you're going to go with like regular paper, um, you could do a speed of eight and a thickness of eight. It's probably fine. Um, and then I'm going to go to this button, send to Silhouette Studio up in the corner. Uh, sometimes these things are kind of uh, tricky. So I just... If, it, if you get an error message like this, like could not connect to the Silhouette Studio, just unplug it and replug it in. Okay, is it going? So the only thing I did was unplug this side and it connected. It's kind of fidgety. Um, okay, so it's ready to go. And then I just say start. And then this thing's going to make hilarious noises. To pull your work out, you just press enter and the rollers will roll it out. And I don't know if you, you can see that, right? Mm -hmm. The cat, the whiskers are kind of messed up, but those are those were fine lines and the machine kind of picked them up. That's okay. I wonder if I can pull it off. Uh, yep, there it goes. Meow, black cat. <laughs> Put on my computer. Cool. Yep. Um, so that's how to make stickers. Yep. Using the vinyl cutter. Awesome. Any other things we should know about the vinyl cutter? Um, you can always ask me something about them. I'm, I won't bite your head off. Um, anything else you need to know? No. I mean, don't cut metal <laughs> or anything <laughs> on this. Yeah. Cut paper. Cut this. The library has some resources. The library does have some blue and gray sticky paper. They might have mm -hmm. some um, thick cut, like, um, craft paper around too. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.